uh, it's, a, it's a GitHub repository which where people are collecting uh, simple, simplified main pages for uh, common tools. Um, it was quite a nice idea I found. I think I put it into the WinFest uh, pattern patch. Ah, maybe it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the. Yeah. Too long to ah, read. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I didn't try it out, it's on my list for here. Um, yeah, because it's the problem the main pages are so huge and you can't find what you're looking for. And so you put up get, uh, Google a search and find short uh, examples of exactly what you want. Yeah. And yeah. There's another URL for you. Get book. Also um, written by you. So my co-author of the Seashell book, uh, Julius, uh, wrote a book with another friend of mine about Git, also with Open Source Press, uh, but Open Source Press kicked the bucket after 10 years. So they released the whole book as a Git repository. Oh. So now you can mess with it if you like. Which simply you can download it for free and it, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's not just on the Russian website or anything. So it's good uh, that way. And uh, yeah, Julius. Uh, so Valentin, the other guy, mm -hmm. is here in Berlin and he gives talks about and workshops about Git naturally and Julius went on after doing his diploma in mathematics here to Australia where he now works for Google. Ta -da. So he's actually a uh, co-worker kind of a brand now, well, in the same company. At least. So yeah, well download it, have fun, contribute, expand, enhance, you know. Nice. So that's also a uh, high how to write books with open source and plain text files. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the Git book is an example of something to use with Git. Yeah. Let's check the config section. Okay, so once we had it, um, there's another thing on the GitHub which I didn't know until the research for the Git uh, uh, presentation that are called awesome lists. I don't know if anyone knows the awesome lists on GitHub. Yeah? Yeah, okay. yeah. I just find them uh, for the research and they are awesome, that's why they got the name. It's like Wikipedia, which I've tried to use the English Wikipedia version every time I looking for a new framework and new software or such things. I put up one I know on Wikipedia, the English one, and most of the time they have a link uh, to a comparison with, with release modes and version and licenses and stuff like that. And so I can compare them, but the awesome list is the same thing just on GitHub, so everyone can, instead of inline editing, use GitHub for inline editing or pull them down. And the main awesomeness is a collect of collection of awesomeness based on topics. Uh, so you can take a look, okay, what I'm into. And can I think most interesting are the free stuff, the free <coughs> that have free books, they have resources for them and stuff like that. And there was also a yes, force for developers, so free open source software for developers. Which is another awesome list separated into, into different parts. So if you are, want a new project management software for yourself, you can take a look which they have and look them up. And each list is another Git repository which is pull press into another open, uh, awesome list. And they also have, which I find kind of interesting, uh, for self-hosted stuff, so you don't need Google, Dropbox, or stuff like that, <coughs> and can take a look. Okay, what I, what do I want to host myself? Like email, 
uh, content management, DNS, feed readers, maps, GPS, routing, software development, VPN, stuff like that. And it's a huge list, always with a license and the programming language. So you can say, okay, I want Ruby, I want to PHP or Node.js. So I filter for that and for the license and can grab that, try it out. And so there's no reason to say, okay, I need to use Google or any of the global player because they are awesome list, uh, providing huge base of already existing software which I can use. And yeah. And because they aren't like Wikipedia, so everyone can change, you have to create a pull request, so at least there's some control about the control of the quality of the software because someone has reviewed the pull request. And I hope they will check out whether it's real uh, free software and what's the quality and stuff like that. So things like MUD should be here? No. Well, yeah, because it's a host that's self hosted, MUD is a client, not a hosted version. Uh, so MUD should be at emails, hopefully. Awesome. Yeah. But I'm sure it's somewhere. Nice try. <laughs> Ah, this is an awesome CLI list where you can find what productivity is there. And what I find also awesome is this Task Warrior, which I want to try out. I don't know if anyone's yes, used it. Yeah. So I need my to do list also on my phone without, because that I carry everywhere around and the problem with task warrior is that there is no sensible client for phones. Okay. There is a sync there is a way to sync it and there is a client but it totally sucks okay. and it isn't really in development anymore as far as okay. I know. Yeah. Otherwise it is quite nice and far better than to do txt if you want to manage your tasks on the command line but um, yeah, so if you do everything on your computer, everything is fine. If you need it like me on a phone, because you carry it around and want to jot your own your notes. Yeah. So it doesn't help. Right? Yeah. Until someone wrote a client. Phone. Yes. There is there's some web client that can sync with it and there is... And you're ready to show it. Hmm? And you are ready to show it. What, what do you mean with the web client? Well, if, if you were uh, telling us everything about it now, well, are you ready to show it? Uh, no, not really, because it's like a year ago that I really used it, because then I switched away from it after using it you a couple away. of months, because... You switched away? Yes, I switched. Um, right now I'm using Remember the Milk. Before that, I used a paper-based thing, and before that, to do it. But um, after using command-line-based uh, tools, which all had some problems, mm -hmm. um, I use now again a commercial tool. And when I used the Mac, I used OmniFocus, and there's still nothing better than OmniFocus out there. I can't find anything that has a comparable feature set and there's especially one feature that everything else is missing and that is start dates. What date? Start dates. Start dates. Start dates. Um, let's imagine you have a task you know you have to do. Like, let's say you have a project. You have let's a project. say you're, you're plugging into the project and no. showing it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I can't show it. This is uh, a yeah. no Mac. Well, you might have another one in your rucksack. And um, no, no, I don't have one. 
I switched also away from OS right, 10 so, so one and a half year ago. Okay, uh, but the concept, but the concept of the start date is pretty simple. Um, a start date is there are due dates. Everyone knows those. You have a deadline. You set a due date to your task. You get to remember the that the task is due. A start date is something similar for you have a task which you know you have to do, but you can only start it on a certain date. For example, registration for the next Chaos Communication Congress. You know you have to do it on that day, you, but you can't do it before that day. So you do not need to see it in your task list until that day. And with a start date and a start time, you can say, vanish from my task list until the day I need it. And when you have several hundred tasks, this can really help. Yeah, okay, makes sense, definitely. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. remember, the MOOC has something like a start date, but um, to set your reminder when a task starts, but the an out of sight thing, I can't find anything else that has it. So it's getting shut out more. Yes, more. yes, 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 exactly. And only only focus on that, for whatever reason. Focus. Okay. Yeah, it's not like only yeah. company. It's yes. Like yeah, they they started next. They started when when next was the same, and uh, switched from next to OS ten when. Um, yeah, next wasn't anymore, and OS ten was the same. And they will never switch to, or oh, they will never publish anything for any other platform than OS X and iOS. Yeah. Okay, let's see. <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, thank you for your talk, Daniel. Yeah.